Um, yesterday I stopped by, I got some metal. This is a piece of the metal. A little bit thicker than I probably needed, but, you know, I'm still learning. So I think it's a 16 gauge, 14 gauge, 14 or 16. I'm going to make a bar that go across here and a bar across the bottom. That will be the frame, the top and bottom frame. And then I'll just connect it with two bars like that. And then I'll have to jigsaw out the uh, frame for the bus. So right now I'm going to weld on this bottom piece, measure, and then do the top piece. All right, when leveling, make sure to use very precision equipment to help you achieve your level, like electrical tape and metal. Got the <laughs> bottom piece in. If anybody's a welder, I used flux core. And if you know what flux core is, <laughs> tell me what you think about it. Because <laughs> I can tell you what I think about it. This is a, a lot different looking than uh, the other way, using gas and stuff like that. This is supposed to basically have built-in gas for a cleaner weld. Well, it doesn't exactly come out that way. But it did work, and there are no casualties, which is always a good thing. There should be no casualties. This right here is step two, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, step two is uh, <laughs> duct taping uh, the, let's see, the, the height, I guess, of the window. And then, um, I'm not so concerned about the placement of these yet. I just want to verify that this is the correct uh, distance in order for the window to slide in. And then I'll just uh, weld in both sides, here and here. And then after that, I'll, I will work on the placement, find the midpoint, and then, you know, measure over and all that fun stuff. And then weld in the vertical beams. It's going to be a little bit tricky because, well not this part, a little bit tricky cutting out the um, the sheet metal. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do flat, you know, well straight uh, cuts, and then in the corners I will uh, I'll figure that out in a little bit. All right, through the magic of uh, filmmaking, the welding is done, and I'm so proud of myself. I learned how to weld on this build. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Badge. Thanks, uh, JT and Chris, and. Uh, you know, Jamie, I think. Anybody else teach me how to weld? Thanks, Reed, for the uh, welder. Done? We got it done, man. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but it doesn't matter because it's done and it's welded. Structural. Structural. All Pretty this will neat. be hidden, but I Thank like God. this. And what I did was I put it in the midpoint of the metal, not the midpoint of what we put in <laughs> over here, me and Mike. Uh, so yeah, right in the middle of the outside sheet metal lives this RV window. Now, I made my corners. So that stays, this whole part, middle part goes on all four corners. So <laughs> without further ado, I'm gonna cut this uh, window open. Since I don't have a longer jigsaw blade, I'm, what I'm just going to do is going to connect the low point to here to there. I'm going to go on the outside of the bus and just uh, run the jigsaw from the outside up, connecting these eight dots. So we got four cuts, and then I'll play with the curve after. they can be a little tricky. The inside edge doesn't really match the middle edge, doesn't really match the outside edge. So what I did was, I just kind of eyed it. Well first I traced it off of the flip side of that, and then I just kind of eyed it and played with it, and it's good. So here, let me show you what I got. This looks like, this looks like a perfect, perfectly symmetrical thing. I'll probably have to grind some of it down, to be expected. That's a pretty, that's a pretty sexy little curve there. The truth for Jax. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna see if see if it fits. Uh oh. We're gonna have to trim it a little bit. But uh, 
Yeah, that's what we're gonna look like here. There we go. Boom! Holy crap. Done! Dude, holy crap! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! It's done! That's a good looking window. Yep, yeah, that is uh, what we're looking like, partially installed. That is a perfect fit. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm gonna toot my own horn. I'm gonna toot. I'm gonna toot that thing. Uh, you want to slide the window open? I'll just uh, spot you out here. Yes, I'm into that. I am into that. And that goes all the way over too, huh? Yeah. Cool. Very, very cool. Very cool. I'm very excited. RV window, everybody. RV window. What do we got here, guys? I got a, I got a little uh, departure gift for Reed. So Reed, why don't you open this up? He's taking off on his maiden voyage tomorrow. Just want to make sure that he is a very safe man. Oh, dude. <laughs> you didn't have to do this. <laughs> yep. Enjoy, buddy. Let's put those things on. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, welcome man. to the bus life. I was not expecting this. Thank Dri you. Drive safely. That is awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Got some new lights, man. Dude. Gonna be driving in style. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Oh, did you show my uh, my tag? Oh yeah, there we go. So if you want to see what Reed is up to, he's on Instagram, probably Facebook too. Shit yeah. single, schoolie. And what does that mean? Yeah. Shit single. Yeah, you got it. What does it mean? It means guardian angel in German. There you go. Reed, what are you doing? Putting my new lights in. <laughs> Why are you doing longer screws? The uh, light is too big for the frame. Just by about. Yeah. That's that's weird. All right, here we go. We're testing out the lights. This is our hand signals for. Uh, we had to figure out how to uh, properly do these things, so we're able to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Reed was able to do it by. Uh, I don't know. He just kind of went around one of the. I'll show you on the other one what he did. He's trying to explain how you. Oh. Went around the ground or uh, whatever it was, but I'll, I'll show him on that one. I actually figured it out on accident. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so unfortunately we didn't get the lights in. We couldn't figure it out. Reed is a little disappointed, but it's all right. It's okay. From this point, <laughs> after the trip, he's going to have some awesome lights. By the way, Black Pearl Travato Nick showed up. What's up? Uh, he's got his uh, trusty steed, his uh, Black Pearl Pirate Mobile over there. Yeah. And uh, he's heading... East. I thought you were going to Jamie's Van build, but yeah, yeah we're heading east to uh, Overland Expo East. That's cool. About with that, and then from from there maybe point south. I don't know. All right. Well, maybe next year, Jamie. Sorry, man. <laughs> Are you going to be at the RTR? Oh yes. All right. Cool. Well, I'll see you in January. Yeah. Uh, and this is the state of the install, the window install. We're strapping it to the other side. I'll work on it tomorrow. It was a little bit hard to. Uh, yeah, with the silicone to push and to screw in the little trim. The trim, I don't even think it's structural, so I just want to get a nice, good ad uh, uh, adhesion with the panel so this thing doesn't rattle out because I don't want it to rattle, rattle out for obvious reasons. Actually, maybe I should put a little silicone in here too or something just to bond it to this. Anyways, I think that's about it for today. I'll probably hang out with Nick a little bit tomorrow and work on the bus a little bit. Well, hello everybody. It's the next day. Uh, seems like the silicone was a good choice. It adhered nice, um, and I can trim off a couple, you know, extra little pieces of right there. And then what I might do is I might use a seam sealer again, and just go around it. I'm not quite sure, but I'm really liking the look of this thing. Now, if I did this over, uh, I would, I would still have the window be at the same height as the top of the windows, but I'd try and get one that was a little deeper this way and have it go maybe to here. Because right behind here is like the, the bench seat comes up to about here. So I'd like to, this to come down just a little bit more. But all things considered, I like the way that it turned out. Let's not get it twisted here. Now, got some exciting stuff. Well, maybe not so exciting. I'm just going to put this uh, little frame on the inside, try and hide some of that um, for now. So I'll drill the holes, get this thing all ready. So basically, 
You just go right into that middle part, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I guess that's how it works. Um, yeah, so just gonna put the trim on. Might take it back off later. Who knows? But I'll put it on for right now. Oh, yes, sir, I'll have a number four, hold the mayo. <laughs> Here we go, number one, paint and cook. Uh, Nick is helping uh, <clears throat> touch up some of the uh, painting spots. This is uh, the following day. Just trying to figure out what we can tackle here. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking, I'm going to call the guys at the coach works and see if I can get in and paint, because what I think I might do is just work on the outside. This thing, it's been overnight. This thing is uh, holding up pretty well here. Wow, it's crazy. There's so much heat coming through this <laughs> right now, and there's nothing coming through this. Tons of heat, nothing. So, partly because it's gray, partly because there's uh, no spray foam insulation. <laughs> Here's what we're working on today. We are going to frame out the RV window. It's a little tricky because we, the way we uh, recycled parts, me and Mike, we got, uh, oh, so close. I'm trying to get this thing in uh, a little bit more. Yeah, well, not, not more of an angle, but right. longer. So just take it a little bit to like there. So like here? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're trying to fit that piece of wood in. And because of the angle, and because I put this in first, uh, which you probably should frame it out with metal and install first. <laughs> but because we have this little lip here, it's giving us a little trouble. But I'm going to screw into this lip, and then probably screw in from that side to secure it so, it's, uh, so it doesn't move around. While you weren't looking, we got the uh, 2x4 installed, and we got another nailer installed there. Over here and over there, it just seemed like the most logical thing to do. Um, we're trying to figure out something so there's two more. And then we'll probably have to go down with some kind of nailer situation and down here. Because um, that wasn't really thought out over here. We might have to dig some of this out and put uh, some wood in there. I, I'm not really sure.